Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I just want to do a quick look with this Supreme Seductress eyeshadow palette. You guys know I've been wanting to play around in this kind of warm tone, cool tone palette and just, you know, explore a different type of look. So today I'm going in with my MAC Paint Pot. I'm giving my P. Louise base a little bit of a rest today. So I'm using the color Soft Ochre, taking a large fluffy brush and just kind of spreading that out on my lids and using a sponge just to make sure it's a nice even base. <laughs> okay, so let's start out with this first shade here. It's called Slide Into. And you guys, I did not realize the names for this palette are all kind of like dating or romantic or seductress <laughs> type of names until I started looking at them. So yeah, this is Slide Into very nicely pigmented shadow as you can see I only went in like once or twice and it is very nicely pigmented it comes off a little more red than it does in the palette though in the palette it looks more orange so now I'm going into prospect and that's uh you know like a deep warm brown shade so I'm just focusing that in my crease as you can see using a fluffy brush just to blend that into that first shade and make sure my crease is nice and warm. I had an idea of what I wanted to do for this look, wasn't exactly sure, but this palette is very nicely pigmented. Now I'm going into Date Night, very light kind of tan colored shadow, just placing that on the upper portion of my lid, just to make sure that that red doesn't just have like a harsh stop to it. So I'm just blending out the edge of that red shade. And now to deepen up my crease and my outer corner quite a bit, I'm going into the black shade, which is Thunderstorm. Well, that name doesn't sound very seductress, but <laughs> yeah, it's to cuddle up, I guess, in a thunderstorm. But so as you can see, that black is like mad pigmented, you guys. I was really trying to take my time and be careful because I didn't want to mess this eye look up. So I just really, really deepened it a lot. Now I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas to create the cut look. The cut crease for today, as you guys saw in the picture, it's a pretty bold uh, cut crease for today. So I'm just kind of swooping it out on the outer edge, tapping it down to make sure I have a nice non-creasing base to play with. And for that cut crease, I wanted to use this silver shade. It is so gorgeous in the palette, but I realized pretty quickly that wetting my brush was not going to help with this shadow. <laughs> I really should have been using a glitter glue because it's like a chunky type of shimmer. It's not a glitter, but you know, one of those chunky shimmers that kind of flakes up. So not my favorite formula, but if I would have used a glitter glue, it would have been a little bit easier for me to get it to lay down and stay. But no worries, I worked it out and just kept placing it down until I got the pigmentation that I wanted for this beautiful silver shade. As you can see, I'm just cleaning it up, creating the shape for my cut crease. Now I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I'm creating a pretty big, bold liner today just because this cut crease is so bold. Um, a small, thin line would not <laughs> handle this huge cut crease, if that makes sense. So now I'm going in with a silver glitter. I started out with the one from Profusion, but I don't think it was giving me what I needed because I remember switching kind of like shortly after I started with the Profusion to one of my, you know, generic like AliExpress silver glitters. They're just more pigmented, a little bit easier to use. So as you can see, I'm just creating a glitter line over that cut crease. Went in, finished my complexion, <laughs> and now I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line. So I'm just using my Rimmel Pencil Liner. It's jet black, and I believe this is a waterproof one. I'm not sure, I'll have to look and see, but I'll have everything listed below as usual. But yeah, I just went in with a black liner. Now I'm going in with my Essence Super Lash Curl Mascara, 
setting it all in place with my Morphe setting spray. <laughs> Got a little out of hand, y'all. Y'all know I love that spray. But anyways, this is the look, you guys. I wanted this to be a really quick and easy video. It looks like a difficult look because it's so bold and crazy, but it was actually really easy to create, as you saw. So hopefully you like it. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like, and thank you guys so much for watching. Toodles!